Today we are hiking to the top of Ferns Nipple. It is an off-trail route in Cabell Reef National Park and I'm not totally sure how long it is. Um, trip reports, I've seen everything from six and a half miles to ten miles. Um, so we're predicting anywhere around there. Today's April 30th and it's chilly this morning, but at least it won't be blazing hot. So yeah, I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, but life has been a little crazy. And now we're out here getting back at it. Just a quick friendly reminder that this trailhead gets packed, super packed. So when you can, try not to park like this because as you can see, more cars should be able to fit. Um, just be considerate of other people. And we are about to start. All right, like I said, we started at the Cassie Arch trailhead and we are starting off by going down the wash for a little ways. And then we will eventually be somewhere up there. All right, we're now leaving Grand Wash. There's kind of like a mini social trail here. So we're definitely gonna take that and head up and around that ramp. So many people doing Cassidy Arch today. I don't expect to see anybody on the trail we're doing today. Don't bust the crust. If you're not aware of cryptobiotic soil, I can't breathe. <laughs> they are living organisms that take human lifetimes to grow and develop and form. Um, so if you step on them, it is catastrophic. So stay on durable surfaces and trails when you can to help protect. Cool window. Like, what makes this so aesthetically pleasing? It's amazing. I know, like why do my eyes enjoy this so much? Carson and I were just talking about how this whole time there really has been like a decent trail to follow. Um, so if you are doing this hike, just know that there is a path. So if you're not on the path, you are probably not going <laughs> the right way. Or you are and you're just exploring. <laughs> and there's Cassidy Arch. The whole canyon. Yeah. We did that. We see the nip. I'm gonna go up right here actually. Okay. There she is. Looks a little daunting. Not too sure if I'm gonna feel like getting to the top. Um, because I like to play it pretty safe, so be on the cautious side. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Yeah. Excited you, to be up here. Yeah, what do you think of this hike? I think it's been really fun. Good yeah. blend of like relatively easy scrambling and hiking and yeah. Yeah. 
2.82 miles in, almost two hours, and we are at the base of the nip. We're gonna take a quick shade break and get some sunscreen on and have a snack. We are fueled up, sunscreened up, and now it's time to go up the nip. I think it's gonna be a lot of that. Burner. Climbing Firm's nipple. Amy demonstrating her low angle crack technique. Volatile flaring here. on top of the nipple um yeah wasn't super super easy to get up here but um a little bit exposed um if you're afraid of heights you definitely won't like this yeah i'm pretty cautious um i was slightly nervous in a couple spots but overall not too bad if you're familiar and comfortable with climbing especially some slab All right, ready to head back down. That way, off the edge. <laughs> Amy getting all of the friction bonuses today. She's stacked her buffs and she's got all the friction she needs. I did what? Look at that great crack climbing technique. <laughs> <laughs> Low angle. Crack crab walking. <laughs> <laughs> it works, it's getting me down this thing. <laughs> Just the epitome of good technique. There's I guess it's awkward. It's like an awkward angle. There's another really good foot right here. Nice. Ooh, that's loose. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there below is the parking lot. Um, remember what I was talking about this morning about how it gets really packed and crowded. We are back down into the wash. All right, the hike to Fern's, Nip, Fern's Nipple out and back from the Cassidy Arch Trailhead was about 6.3 miles and I don't have the elevation gain because uh, I saved it to my watch and um, I don't have service to get on my phone to look at all the stats and everything. Um, but I will put that in the description box below it was a really fun adventure and definitely recommend it for those who are familiar with scrambling and climbing. Um, not a total walk in the park, but really cool. Glad we did it. And thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.